guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on this video what I'm going to be discussing is the fact that the Dragon Ball universe in Dragon Ball Super is perceived to be a lot smaller than it actually is. No, I'm not talking about the multiverse. I'm actually talking on a much larger scale than that. Now, what I'm talking about is the Dragon Ball verse as its entirety, all the way from Earth, all the way up to Zeno's palace and beyond. So let's start very small. The Earth is in the solar system and in the Milky Way galaxy, there is estimated to be 200 billion stars. So 200 billion stars, that's pretty damn big. Well, in terms of galaxies in the universe, there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, with recent estimates going up to the trillions. Now, each universe from 1 to 12 in Dragon Ball Super is a macrocosm. So basically, it actually consists of the size of three universes. I'll show you this model. I've shown it plenty of times throughout my videos. So have other YouTubers. But as you can see, it has the mortal universe, which is the equivalent to our universe, our very own observable universe. Then we have the cosmos above it, where King Kai lives, where heaven is and where Snake Way is. And then we have the supreme world of the Kais, which is orbiting this globe of the universe. So basically, if you take into consideration that extra radius from the supreme world of the Kais, you could say it's up to three times the size of our very own universe. Then also take into account the Hakaishan realm, which is the pin at the bottom. And then there's Beerus's planet, which we don't actually know where it is yet. But in episode 28 of Dragon Ball Super, Shampa arrives on Beerus' planet when Goku and Vegeta are training there and proposes the God of Destruction tournament. And in this episode, Whis tells us about the 12 universes. We are now seeing the fruition of those 12 universes in the Tournament of Power. We have seen the Gods of Destruction from all of them, as well as the Supreme Kais, the Gods of Creations. And this is the Dragon Ball Multiverse. All of those 12 universes comprise the Dragon Ball Multiverse. However, that multiverse sits on a load of pillars surrounding the Omni King Zeno's palace. And just before I move on to that, I'm just going to go back to the fact that the 12 universes, there was a bad subversion of Dragon Ball Super at one point, which claimed there were 13 universes. That is not true. There are only 12. I have the picture from the Crunchyroll sub up for you right now. And basically, as you can see, it is the fact that each twin universe, each of their numbers adds up to 13. For example, universe 6 and universe 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. 1 and 12, 13. 2 and 11, 13. You get the picture. So back to Zeno's palace. Zeno's palace is huge. Now, whether it is actually drawn to scale on the animation perspective is hard to tell as Zeno himself is pretty damn small. However, when Goku enters Zeno's palace with the Daishinkan, they tend to translocate to other rooms. And the palace itself seems to have things like stars and planets in. So the dimensions of that palace are pretty weird and we can't really understand it for now. Anyway, outside that palace are pillars that withhold the universes 1 to 12. And those pillars as well are also bigger than the universes. Anyway, it's what this palace and what those pillars are actually on top of, which is really impressive. So in Dragon Ball Super episode 55, we actually get to see a glimpse of what they are actually sat on. Now, it's a very, very brief moment. It's around the 9.55 mark of Dragon Ball Super episode 55. And what it appears to be on is like a large mushroom. Some people have actually said squid, which I can definitely see. I'm not entirely sure what it is myself. All I can say is it's wacky and definitely from the mind of Toriyama. But this shroom squid, whatever you perceive it as, is absolutely enormous. As you can see on your screen right now, it dwarfs Zeno's palace, dwarfs the pillars that the universes are sitting on. It is enormous. Now, we're not going to stop there because as you can see on the picture, just look at the backdrop to that shroom. There appears in the distance to be either of a universes, galaxies, who knows what exactly they are, but they are in the backdrop. It's undeniable that they're there. Now, I personally theorize that they could be other squid shroom-like things that could possess on them other multiverses. 
So basically, this Dragon Ball verse goes way beyond our imagination. However, I want you to pay attention to something else. At the bottom of that picture appears that yellow cloudy like substance that we actually see in the Dragon Ball 7 universe. It is separating the cosmos from the mortal universe with hell and we see it in Snake Way. Now, I'm not going to claim that Zeno created Universe 1 to 12. We don't know that. I don't want to make that assumption. But what if whoever created those universes, either for him or whether it was him, actually created it based off their own universe? What if this megaverse is actually based on a very similar model to the Universe 7 model? And basically, Zeno's household is comprised within the Cosmos version of this giant universe. Anyway, that's just speculation for now because beyond this image, we don't actually have anything extra to add on top of that. But as you can see on these images, there are other galaxies or universes in the backdrop. Now, it really makes you consider if there are any other beings out there that are basically located on those stars, universes, galaxies, whatever they are and whether they are the equivalent to our Omni King Zeno. Now, it's been discussed many a times that the Omni King is not an omnipotent. He isn't the equivalent to the one above all from Marvel or the presence from DC. And in terms of the Dragon Ball God's hierarchy, you really don't get the impression that Zeno is the top of it all. I may be wrong on this matter, but I honestly feel like there's going to be something above Zeno out there. And this picture only fuels that belief. So anyway, guys, maybe you did know this, maybe you didn't. But if you didn't, the Dragon Ball verse is potentially a megaverse all the way up to potential hyperverse. Toriyama has given the key to Toei and Toyotaro to continue Dragon Ball for such a long time. Look how big that is, considering our universe is just a little dot on top of that shroom. And when you consider there's different timelines, I honestly believe soon that the Dragon Ball series will go more into different dimensions. For example, the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension and so forth. It's such an exciting time to be a Dragon Ball fan. This is why the Dragon Ball Superverse is bigger than you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy my videos, guys, please smash that like button with a big bang attack. Every like really helps my videos out and I can't tell you how much I appreciate your continued support. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you will never, and I mean ever, eh, 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 ever become a Super Saiyan. Make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure you get all my latest content straight to your account as soon as it's released. And here are some more videos from my library, which I'm sure you will all enjoy.